Okay, the next movie on our list. It's the goddamn best movie of the week. Gamer, starring Gerard Butler. Jude, take it away. 2009 Gamer. Rated R with a runtime of 1 hour 35 minutes. This had a budget of $50 million. Vader, what do you think this brought into the box office? Never heard of this movie before. What? Never heard of it. Hmm. Um, I'm going to say, speak. I'm going to say $30 million. Okay. How much did it make? How much did it cost? You tell me. Oh. How much did it make? Oh, I almost had you. I almost <laughs> had you. How much did it cost? It cost $50 million. Uh, I'm going to say it made $68 million. $40 million. Oh, no. Just I win again. Breaking even. Nobody gets a speed bump. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Ready? Yep. In the future, death row inmates are used as live action sims that real world people can control. If you win 30 battles, you go free. No one's done it yet, but if anyone can do it, Leonidas can. Under the control of teen demigod Percy Jackson, he's got 29 successful battles and is the most popular slayer. A term and technology created by country boy serial killer Dexter. Going into his last battle, the odds are stacked against Leonidas. Dexter rigged the game and sent in slayer Terry Crews, whose job it is to make sure Leonidas doesn't get out of the game alive. Leonidas convinces Percy to give him total control during the game, but then gets drunk and goes off grid, embarrassing Percy's gamer cred. And then a group of insurrectionists, led by Ludacris, break him out and hide him from evil country Dexter and his tech support goons. Next, they break out Leonidas's wife, former Victoria's Secrets model Amber Valletta, who's been simming in the real world, and simming ain't easy when her controller keeps making her do butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta edit this. <laughs> I know exactly the scene I'm gonna use. <laughs> Team Free Leonidas partners up with talk show host Kira Sedgwick to uncover the conspiracy that landed Leonidas on death row. Dexter was testing out his new tech and did some murder via mind control, and that's how Leonidas became death row fair game. Meanwhile, poor Percy Jackson is in an interrogation room with Agent Keith and ain't getting out till he tells him how we got the beans above the frank. <laughs> Learning that Dexter also has Leonidas' daughter, they meet up for your standard dance and basketball battle, where Dexter tries to get Leonidas to kill his own daughter, but Leonidas is like, this is Sparta, and murders Dexter with a little help from Percy and then takes his family on a road trip. Discuss. Man, that was way better than this actual <laughs> movie. Dare, really dare I say that was your best synopsis ever. Jesus. Fuck yes. This movie fucking sucks. I fucking love okay. this movie. It was the butt stuff for you? That was hilarious. No, it was the freaking basketball tournament. <laughs> that was so weird. They had a dance Yes, they did. I and love this movie. Just rips off his shirt. And I'm like, yes. Okay, fine. I love this movie. I know I'm on my hill by myself you are with my flag. Such a fanatic weirdo. I fucking love this movie. I I like the concept of this movie. Right. I like the idea of this movie. Right. But whoever the fucking asshole was that filmed this movie <laughs> can suck no, no, my no. ass. Edited. Our Fuck this guy. Edited. The whole the movie is made with a camera six inches away from everybody's face the entire time. <laughs> and, the, and the rest of the movie looks like a fucking Limp Biscuit video or something. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's nonsense. It's like it couldn't, the concept is there. It's cool. It could be good. But man, they drop the ball hard listen, with no, this. No, I thing. disagree. This, okay. <clears throat> I understand why it's not of your. Taste of Sty my taste stylistically. You, do you know my taste? I sir? do. How dare you? I do. I, He's never tasted butt stylistically. Stuff in life. This movie takes some serious freaking chances on like the editing front. Like, yeah, they, they, they film this they movie, fail. they film this movie one way, but when they put it in the editing bay, they gave it to a freaking teenager who was on cocaine. Yeah, I get that. It's bad. I understand why you would criticize that. For me, that doesn't bother me that much. 
It, it really just doesn't. I, I, the concept is so much fun. The characters seem like they're having fun making the movie. Freaking Dexter as the bad guy. He's freaking Mark Zuckerberg on freaking Adderall. Yeah. Why I, is he country? I don't know, but I love it. It's great. I love his weird little freaking dance he does at the end. That's I'm like, so fucking weird. There ain't no that strings was, on me. I that was, like, was so John Malkovich. Dude, I love it. That was um, great. I love hold freaking hold Gerard Butler. He's amazing on. in this film. Fuck John Malkovich. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck That's, you, Mel. Dude, when, when Gerard Butler goes, he's like, I need you to do one thing for me. Get me drunk. And he drinks the whole <laughs> freaking bottle of vodka and then he throws it up into his truck so he can drive yeah, that was and do terrible. a freaking Marilyn Manson freaking concert I, while he's driving his truck. I don't think it would work out that way. Dude. I was like, yes, give me more. It's amazing. It's so much freaking fun. I love this movie. I hate this movie. That's good. I'm glad. I, I, I really hate this movie. There's, there, we, there, there, there's been a lot. There, we, we've watched a lot of really bad movies on this podcast. Yeah, we have. But, you know, even the ones, I mean, this is this is down there for me, dude. This Aww. is like, what, what is like my least favorite movie we've ever watched? I don't bad remember. Bad Taste? Bad Taste? Okay, it's not That's as bad as Bad Taste. What? It's not as bad as Bad Taste, but man, it's almost Shopping there. Mall? It's it's a little better than Chopping Mall. Fuck you. It's a little better than Chopping <laughs> Mall, but not much. I'm I mean, offended. I think this is in my bottom five movies of Get all time out. Is that it, we've watched. Is, okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta ask you: Is it literally just because of how it's edited? It's a lot of it. That's the only. It, it, cause, this, cause you like you, the concept. You, I, I kind I like the concept. Do you like the actors? The concept's no different. It's fucking Running Man for the, the for the That's new. Awesome. That's, what That's what it's I'm trying to get to. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to Running Man. Dude. I'm trying to get to the point where I'm going to make you say if Arnold Schwarzenegger was in the spot no, of Gerard Butler. I wouldn't Butler, like that either. I, I disagree. I it's, think you would think this is amazing. The, 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 the concept this, is good. It's there. But they, they just filmed this Dude, if, way wrong. Listen, man. If it you, is not good. If this movie came out in the 80s and Schwarzenegger was no. was Gerard Butler and you got some freaking whatever teenager was popular in the 80s See, this movie to film. This movie wouldn't have been made in the 80s because nobody would have filmed it like this. This movie is The Sims. It's just, it's, it's no good. It's, well, it's it's modern warfare, but like, what if it's real? This no, is like, like this the, is like some fucking MTV crackhead. Yes. Snorted a gallon of fucking Adderall. liquid meth. And, yes. And just fucking. Yes. It's, it's, uh, yes. yes. Yeah. And that's why it sucks. Okay. I liked it. I hate it. There's two different aspects to this movie. There's the fight to the death aspect, which is the death row inmates. Right. But then there's just. There's just the real world one where he's like, this was his first uh, rendition of trying out this tech where you can either get paid to be controlled or you can pay to control. And it's just this real world land of Sims where regular people are getting ready for work and they're just being used. Yeah. Well, I mean, like. And that's the, mo the more insidious <clears throat> so, part. So, like, the first person shooter aspect of this, like, Gerard Butler is the character that you're playing and he goes on a war battle and he fights. That's a different thing. That's, like, its own little sphere, right? That's a, And then the other part is his wife, mm -hmm. who, like Jude pointed out, like, you get paid to be a sim for somebody else who's paying you. And you have to just go and do whatever they want. That's like the weird, like dark yeah. web yeah. shit where they're just a bunch of freaking freaks out there trying to get freaking horny. Oh, bunch of weird and ass. They gross it up. Yes. Oh, yeah, so much. Do. Dude. There, there's just this like big fatty sitting in his VR chair, yeah. just like slopping a waffle oh, and syrup dude. all he, over his he's face. Sitting there he's he's like, like, is this the part where you were going to like, so yeah. I don't want to offend me? I, I, I'm not trying to offend <laughs> anybody. Offend Listen, me. I'm not the weight that I want to be right now either. <laughs> and that doesn't make any excuse. But in this movie, they make a point. Which is yeah. surrogate's excuse. Um, <laughs> I wish I had a little dick upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> a little dick is like, he's, like, yeah. he's like rubbing like a waffle like, all over like, his face with yeah. the syrup. Maple syrup. And he's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They go, do you want to go somewhere? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. They oh, go. So nasty. They go out of their way to make this large person seem disgusting. Yeah. Oh, which actually, sure. Just which, say then, fat. You don't have to say large person. So, You're I not offending anybody. Okay, well, all right, he's, fine. He's so fat he can't even walk. He's yeah. on his own. Yeah, he's so in his rascal. That and was my a, next point. Like, there's, there's a part where, like, the, the connection goes out. Yeah. And he's just himself now. And he just immediately, like, he doesn't even get up from his VR pod. He just, like, yeah. is zipping around his room in his, like, they they go like to the Walmart motorized yes, scooter a thing. scooter thing yeah they go out of their way to make that person extremely disgusting mm -hmm. and I, 
Like when, when, when I see these videos of people in the metaverse and all this kind of shit, in my head, every single one of them fucks behind those <laughs> avatars it looks like that guy. <laughs> It Every was single one of them. Extremely disturbing. It's very and, and weird. the fact that he's playing like a hundred and twenty pound sexy ass chick, hot ass chick, yeah, just brings it to that freaking tenth level. It's just or eleventh, I guess, eleventh level. It's these, just, it's these just go to eleven. Yeah, it just and goes not, to eleven. They're not even like fake surrogates. They're like people. They're people, yeah. but and, and that's the most fucked up part is that you can wrong. make these real people do anything. Yes. Yeah. So the technology behind this movie is instead of like the surrogate movie, which we just talked about, where it's like a robot that you uh -huh. can control, it's somebody who is allowing this company to inject nano cells into their brain, which eventually takes up the entirety of their brain to which it can read a signal from outside, like a Wi-Fi signal. You can literally take you over You can literally person. take over another person, but that person is still inside there. So when you're in this freaking society, which is like the metaverse, basically, and uh, and Dexter is running the metaverse, he's, by, he's Mark Zuckerberg, mm -hmm. and uh, you go into this world and you're like, okay, at this point I'm getting paid however much an hour to let this other person run my body to go do whatever they want. Do weird butt stuff. Do weird butt stuff, that's all they do. <laughs> Every single person in this society is just a weird freaking perv. Yeah. yeah. And they just go out there and do weird freaking sexual shit. And it's, it's so creepy. And I understand why you don't like it. Like stylistically, so it's like very flash cutty. Like it, so and there's like weird music going on and there's close ups and there's like boobs and there's all kinds of weird shit going on. And I'm just like, I get it. If this is not your thing, it's like the MTV style, like weird music video style is not your thing. I understand where you're coming from. I'm, I'm, I'm 100 percent sure that Kadish is gonna tell me this was directed by a, a music video director. <laughs> oh, it has to be. If if yeah. he doesn't say that in the next 15 seconds, I'm gonna be surprised. <laughs> Kadish, who was this directed by? So it's actually a, a directing team uh that goes by Neville Dean and Taylor. So it's uh, Michael or Mark Neville Dean and Brian Taylor. And these are two guys who are kind of like like in the early 2000s, they were trying to pioneer this like uh, hypermanic style of filmmaking. Uh, their first movie was a Jason Statham film called Crank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Movie too. Yeah. Yes. And, and uh, their last film was uh, the sequel to Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance with Nicolas Cage. Mm. And uh, they, they made basically four films together, I think, four or five films. And uh, it, it's all in this style. It, it, it's, yeah. it's like just like super hyper manic, like the camera's spinning everywhere, like extreme close ups. Hate it. Uh, you know, like uh, very like blatant soundtracky uh, music score. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and story, and they all, they, they wrote all their movies together and their stories never made any sense. Uh, I went and saw each one of their movies in the theater, except for Ghost, Ghost Rider. I saw that on video. But, um, I, I've never liked a movie that they've done together. And um, Brian Taylor's actually gone on to, to do some interesting stuff in TV, but uh, Mark uh, Neville Dean uh, is just kind of like language uh, um, after uh, his, his association. But these guys weren't music video directors. They were just kind of like filmmakers who got together and were like, let's make some really bad shit. I'm, so. I'm, I'm On the shocked. backs of motorcycles. I'm shocked. <laughs> I, I will say though, because like the music video style, like there's a scene in this movie, um, that Gerard Butler goes and he gets a, a pickup truck, basically. It's this futuristic pickup truck, and he, he throws up vodka into the gas tank to run and it. And then he pees in it. And he pees in it, too. <clears throat> and then, like, once he escapes, like, where he's supposed to, like, it's like a first-person shooter, like, battle zone thing. And he, he gets out of the, like, permitted area or whatever. And uh, and then, like, Marilyn Manson starts showing up. Well, freaking wow, 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 wow. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, dude. I was fucking into that shit. <laughs> I was so freaking like, yes, this is awesome. And he's getting chased by these two trucks with like plows on him. And he's like doing skids and freaking blowing shit up. And it was like all freaking to this like heavy bass. Like I was so into it. So I loved it. Funny enough, Gerard Butler, when he saw the uh, original cut for this movie, like he saw an early draft of, of the film. Uh, he tried to get his uh, representation to get his name uh, removed from the movie. <laughs> Good for him. Be, 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 because he was embarrassed by it. Good for him. Get man. out of here. No, no it, it, it's true. Like, he thought this movie was a piece of garbage. And, like, it is. And, and legally, like, he couldn't disassociate himself from it. Oh, <laughs> man, that makes me bummed out. That makes me so happy, dude. Okay, I'm sure I'm probably the only person who has thought this uh, intricately into this, but... The society aspect, of, I, I've said, like, that's the most fucked up part of yeah. this. Oh, for sure. Yeah, easily. Because you're just taking, like, real life. Dude, 
you know how uncomfortable I was watching that scene where where Gerard Butler's lo- wife goes into that thing and she goes to the bar and she meets some. Um, it's the dude from Heroes. He's like the main actor from from uh, Heroes. Milo Ventimiglia. Okay, I, I'm assuming you're right. I'm a savant. I have no idea, but anyway, yes, he's he, he has like um he kind of has like a Sylvester Stallone's thing going on. Oh, he he actually plays Sylvester Stallone's kid in Rocky, Keep it in Rocky Balboa. Anyway, he plays this weird freaking pervy dude His who's wearing name like is something sp- rape, like Ray Rape. Or yeah, something. Ray Rape or Jack Rape or whatever. And he's wearing like this full spandex outfit. That was a part of the movie where I felt like they did go for too far. Because they they hung with them for so long. Well, and Neville Dean and Taylor are known for just like going past the edge. Yeah, like constantly. Definitely, I will agree they did do that because there was a scene where they were in the elevator and this character is just like literally humping this chick, and the whole time you can see beyond the avatar is the person who is actually in the body, and she's like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Oh and yeah. It made me feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. That scene in particular, I was like, this is too much. Yeah, it's to, too much. You need to freaking reel that one back a little <laughs> yeah. bit. There are actually like three three scenes I want to talk about with you guys. So the first one is the opening of this movie where they're showing shots from around the world and and how this uh, this culture has kind of perpetuated worldwide. Um, you know, they've turned it into like blood sport and, and yeah. escapism and stuff like that. It, it's some of the, the worst Photoshop uh, <laughs> like stuff or, or like they, they have like stock footage of like the pyramids mm-hmm. and then they, they just like superimpose like a video on it. It looks like so crappy. <laughs> uh, like I was like for a $60 million budget movie that th- this is not, you know, quite up to quality standards. Uh, the second one is, I don't know if you guys ever watch uh, the show psych. Um, mm-hmm. So I like it, it, it's one of my, it's, it's one of my favorite shows and uh, it stars James Roday and he was actually in this movie as one of the uh, kind of like news commentators with the, uh, the female detective from Psych, uh, Maggie Lawson. And so like, uh, it's just kind of funny, like when I was watching this movie, because at the time, uh, Rode and Lawson were dating. And so like, they just showed up in this movie randomly. And I was like, oh, those are the guys from Psych. So <laughs> that, that was kind of like a fun thing. Uh, Zoe Bell shows up in this movie as, yes. as one of the, the death row inmates who gets killed. Um, but I think my favorite scene in this movie is where uh, Logan Lerner, uh, Percy Jackson, basically, mm-hmm. he's being interrogated by Keith David. Severely and, underutilized Keith David. I yeah. know. How'd you get the beans about the prank? Yeah. yeah. Like, and, and, and so, like, Keith David's interrogating him, and Logan Lerner's kind of being, like, a smartass, and he's like, I really want, like, a, a, a sandwich. A peanut butter and, and, and jelly. And, and, and he, grape jelly. And, and he introduced me to pistachio butter i never yeah. knew what the fuck that was and, well, it, and it's kind of funny because like <clears throat> they cut to keith david and he's like they really make that yeah <laughs> it was it was a great scene like again underutilized keith david like i saw him in this movie and i was like oh shit he's in this movie this is awesome and then he never gets seen they're, they're again actually yeah. a great cast in this movie like yeah. john lake was yes you know, like john lake was almost never not played anyone who's been a fucking weirdo character. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that scene where he's like, you know what? Um, he's getting ter- interrogated. He's like, you're going to give us this information. And, and the kid is like, what, 16 or 17 or whatever. He's like, yeah, I'll give you the information. If you can get me one thing, a sandwich uh-huh. with like peanut butter or almond butter, pecan butter or almond Walnut butter. butter. Any, kind like, any kind of nut butter. Any kind of nut butter with like grape jam then I'll tell you what you need to know. And he's like, he mentions all these different types of nut butter. And I'm like, all of those sounds amazing. <laughs> well, 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 when we are introduced to his character, he's putting like this green stuff on like a sandwich. I was like, what the hell is that? And then you find out, oh, it's that's pistachio, pistachio butter. butter. Yeah. That sounds cool. Do I you have some? That. that sounds like something you can go buy at one of those like Trader Joe's fa- fancy ass grocery yeah. stores, like fucking Whole Foods. Foods. <laughs> yeah. You know what? One of my favorite For like twelve ninety nine for two ounce bottle. Of yeah. It. yeah. What's your favorite snack? One of my favorite snacks. I do this almost every night. I have like, a, like a little like tablespoon of peanut butter. Love peanut butter. And I take macadamia nuts and I dip them in the peanut butter. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I eat them. Yeah. That's it's incredible. like nut on nut. So did, yeah. did you? Uh, <laughs> so good. Uh, she would like the double, double nut. nut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you guys uh, start? Did you Star Wars fans notice uh, Sam uh, Whitworth's? Uh, I did. Yes, he was like a, a psych. Um, no, no, he, analysis or something for the for the so- wife of Gerard Butler. Worker, social yeah, social worker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Sam Witwer, who plays uh, Darth Maul from uh, Star, the Star Wars Rebels and Emperor, too. He did yeah, Emperor's yeah. voice. Yep. 
It's great. He's an awesome voice actor. He's also Star he, Killer. He's also he a, a Star Killer. Yeah, he has a pretty decent Twitch yeah. channel too. Yeah. Too. He's a cool guy. And he also hates the Last Jedi. So points for that. I'm, also, I'm a fan. Isn't that one uh, girl that like swoops in, picks him up on the motorcycle? Isn't she in Star Trek? So that's Allison Lohman. Is she um, the crazy doctor lady? Uh, no, 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 that's no. not her. Oh, okay. Uh, she's not Gerardi. <clears throat> but but she's, she's actually like the gamer chick with the dreads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who somehow infiltrated the prison without being noticed? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, she's actually director Neville Dean's wife, and so like he puts her in all of his movies and stuff like that. So, oh, that's interesting. Is she okay. not in Star Trek? No, I don't do know. I have a Kurt? Do I have? She yeah. she does look very similar to the Doctor from the Picard show that they've been talking about. That's who I'm. She looks her like with. her. That's yeah. why I thought yeah. that. Yeah. I was like, oh, is that like an older version? Like she's because okay. this, this movie is a couple of years old. Um. I'm, I, I know I'm going to be alone on my hill with my little stupid flag, but I like this movie. I like the freaking music video style. I like the Marilyn Manson freaking like drop the music let, while the car chase is going let, on. Let, let me ask you guys, like if you were given the opportunity to be paid to be like a human sim, like would you take that up? Oh, oh hell absolutely no. 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 I'd get some guy like V over here be like, hey, I'm going to take yeah, your body. Like, like I don't honestly see like how- They like, make me it, do like butt stuff. I'm yeah, like, okay. yeah. I, I don't no. honestly see how any sane human being would ever volunteer for that. Or let alone like the fact that there seemed to be zero safety standards yeah. uh, I know. involved in it. Yeah. Well, there was that scene where they were like rollerblading and the one chick like falls and like busts her elbow and she's all yeah. bleeding. How about the scene in and the elevator where that the two people were just making out? Yeah. And oh, like, and she gets stabbed. Do it, murder them. Yeah. Yeah. It's so creepy. So this is what I started to say earlier. Like, I'm, I'm sure I'm the only person that probably thought about this, but like as a person who's like a lady who's on camera a lot, who's like, oh, I need to try to pretend to be young and fit. Um, <laughs> so like if I was a sim and my sim was like out making me like fuck dudes all the time and like drink constantly yeah. or do drugs. And like for me, it was like, what if they made me eat like carbs all the time? <laughs> like, and, what then, would, what? and then I would get fat and then I wouldn't be usable as a sim sim anymore they'd be literally taking away my livelihood yeah, there, there's a giant plot hole in like what is the benefit versus risk of becoming a sim for somebody else yeah. there and seems and to be no the benefit point of to being it. like the npcs during like the the first person shooter matches well and, like, those were so weird th that is true but they did address that specifically they said well there's these people who they're death row inmates they're not they're not capable of becoming the first person shooters. They're not, they're not good enough to be warriors, but if they go into a match and they agree to just have some like pre-programmed nonsense, yeah. if they survive, I don't think anyone's programming them. They're just like pre pro pre-programmed like yeah. oh, frogger it, or whatever. If they survive that match, then they get free. Yeah. So that's like, they just their have bed. to do one, just one, one match. If you survive as an NPC within this war zone, if you make it all the way through, then you're free. So that I did see a benefit to being a gamer, being an actual person who goes out there and shoots. I see a benefit to, but the society thing, I totally get it. There's a huge plot hole there. Yeah. What is the benefit? You're getting paid. How much? Yeah. Like, what's it worth? And they take away your kid. And you can still, like, you're still living those experiences. I don't want any memory of that. Like that scene where she was with that creepy dude with the freaking leather spandex or whatever. Like she was like literally crying. Yeah. Yeah. while that was happening. That's yeah. the most uncomfortable scene in the movie. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's super and uncomfortable because she's like, you can see in her face, she's like, oh, God, this sounds, this is literally going to traumatize me. <laughs> but her av her controller is like making her be like, ha, 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 you're so funny. Oh, Let's yeah. go fuck. Yeah. yeah. What, what about Ludacris as the super genius hacker who oh, leads God. the human new I love I'm Dude, right. that. Talk about right. Ludacris. Listen, man. That's Ludacris. I love that shit. When he's, when the, when the Percy Jack kid is in his room and he's like see he just sees ludicrous and like freaking super large version of him and he's like what do you want me to do my brother that's just i was freaking laughing so hard at that point it was so Ooh, funny this is actually a pretty decent actor he's right? fine yeah, yeah he's, he's good cool. he well, just plays himself and yeah. everything well, i think he was probably just on a green screen then <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the, the, the funny part about this is when they introduce terry cruz's character like, like, like he's sitting there roiding oh yeah out. i and, love and, terry and, cruz and, and I, i'm just like who just sits there and like rages like that dude like, like to themselves i'm sorry terry cruz on pre-workout he wasn't acting. No. He was just like, oh, no. oh, yeah. I'm going to flex my tits. I'm going to go fucking work out in a minute. He is, it, probably, he's one of my favorite, like, 
pop in ca- like characters of of any of anyone. Yeah, like that's... every time he pops into a movie, I'm like, oh, I love that guy. That, yeah. that scene where he shows up at the end in the basketball court and he's just doing that weird little dance, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. They told Terry Crews. Do whatever you want. We'll yeah. make it work. And yeah. he was just like, all right, I'm going to break dance. Yeah. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, fucking Dexter was like, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do that too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. I, oh, like, Terry Crews is so good. Terry Crews is amazing. He's amazing in everything. Dexter, like we talked about in. Uh, I, I think it's a shame he didn't get to share the screen with Keith David. I agree. That That's it. Like I said, Keith David, super underutilized character in this movie. Yeah. Um, they even named him Keith. I know! His name was Agent Key. It's goofy. It's weird. I understand why people don't like it. But for me, I've watched it like probably over the course of the last couple of years, probably like four or five times. It's it's one of those things where I'm like, if I'm in the hankering for like a good Gerard Butler movie, I'm like, I'm gonna throw freaking this, I'm gonna throw Sparta, I'm gonna throw freaking Greenland. Like I'm just like Olympus has fallen. Like, yeah, dude, Gerard Butler is good as Gods fuck. of Egypt. Gods of Egypt. <laughs> That's a terrible movie, but I love them. We haven't watched that one for this. We show. haven't watched anything. We do, uh, need to, like, do we need to do like Egyptian we, mythology, mythology movies? We, we, yeah. we, we can do an Alex Proyas. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm a huge fan of Gerard Butler. I love all of his work. I, I do like his work. I'm sorry. You, everything you said for the last minute has been all one word. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do final thoughts. I'm sorry. I, I, I just hear, I like this bad movie. I like this bad yeah. movie. I like this terrible movie. I'm a fa- look. Gerard Butler is my generation's Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. I'm just telling you right now. That's how it is. Sparta, all these terrible action movies that don't make any sense. Running Man. It's all just, it's just redos. Don't ever talk shit about Running Man. That movie sucks. Never talk shit about it. You have have, uh, reminded me of my own uh, kind of drunk safe word, which is if- uh, if, Gerard Butler. No, no, no. (laughs) Close, but no cigar. Uh, in order to be able to tell for myself if I'm drunk or not, mm-hmm. I try to say the word Egyptian. Oh. Uh, so you brought me to that, which is our next code word. Oh, is that your next code That's word? That's our next code word. What is it, Egyptian? Egyptian. Okay, make sure you spell it right, because it's not spelled yeah, right. We're not put Egyptian oh, hold on, hold on. Gotta, in what are we the doing? Discord chat for a chance to win some videos and some buttons straight from the Salty Nerd crew. SaltyNerdDiscord.com in the contest chat. Uh, That's right. Chat. I, I, I feel like when I was a kid and watching Pee Wee's Playhouse and they did like the word of the day. Yeah. 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 What, what was the doing. first word that you picked? <clears throat> Zombie juice. Zombie juice yes. and Egyptian. Egyptian. Okay. That's those it. are the two code words. There yep. will be a chat in SaltyNerdDiscord.com, our server. Go down, scroll into it, find it, find. If you're listening to this live, we haven't done it yet. Contest, yeah, we haven't done it yet. Don't <laughs> don't try to do it right now. Contest, <laughs> chat room, type in zombie juice in Egyptian. Egyptian. And get your name in the bucket. You notice how how clearly I'm saying it. <laughs> Gamer's a good freaking movie. I like it. You guys are all crazy, and we're uh, gonna do final thoughts. Give it a rating. How, Vader. how many stars do you give it? I'm gonna give it easily three. I I like this movie. I'm sorry. Okay. Whatever. That's it's fine. three, easily three movie. All right. Three star movie. Good. What, what's your rating for it? Oh, my rating for it. Um, I'm not gonna give it a one star crap fest because thank God it does have. Um, Terry oh, Cruz. Oh, Terry Crews. It's got Terry Crews was funny in this movie. I I did like his character, um, but uh, Ludacris was all right. He was okay in this movie. Um, so just for that fact, I'm not gonna give it a one star crap fest. But man, this movie is a pile of shit. Okay. Don't fucking watch this movie. You're, don't waste your time. You're crazy. Don't spend, don't even spend 99 cents on this movie. I spent, if you can watch it for free I and you just want like you have a bottle of whiskey and you want to get really fucking drunk. You, you know, and not remember having had watched it. And not it. remember having to have watched this thing. Cheers, folks. Then yeah. Watch it. I mean, maybe it'll be on like Tubi or something one of these days. No, dude, or, I rented this shit for two ninety nine. Yeah, well, you're a moron. It was, it was free on Peacock. Yeah, that's where I watched it. Peacock. Oh, Peacock. Peacock. You can watch it for free with commercials, um, and it's it's <laughs> fine with commercials. It doesn't really matter. It kind of like flows it right into the movie. Doesn't take away from the experience no, not at, at all. all. So I'm gonna give it one and a half stars. Get out of here. And, um, yeah, this movie can suck my butt. All right, <laughs> I never want to watch this movie again. It's terrible and i'm really happy that gerard Depardieu butler or whatever the fuck his name is <laughs> wanted to uh abscond his existence away from this pile of of 
steaming hot trash floating down the flood water in a dumpster. Yeah, that was, yeah, it's awful. Don't okay. watch this. Don't All watch right. it. Choose yeah. final thoughts. Give it okay. Uh, so I'm very torn on this movie, not because of the butt stuff, but because <laughs> I was hoping you get that. Um, so That's God, gross. I'm back and forth on it because like, I hate it. I don't think I hate it as much as I hated surrogates, but there's so much that should make me want to like this more. Like I love Amber, Amber Valletta. Uh, I, I followed her all through her Victoria's Secrets career and I love everything that she's in. Every time she's in a movie, I, I watch it because I she? love her. Amber Valletta. Who is she? She was the wife of Gerard Butler. Gotcha. Okay. The blonde who was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I hate, I hate that her controller was just making her like introduce herself with her ass the whole movie. <laughs> but I love uh, Keith David and I love Terry Crews, so I'm very torn. It didn't make me angry to watch it. I never need to watch it again. Um, and so I think the tiebreaker on this to keep it out of being a one star crap fest is Dexter's abs. So it's a, it's another one and a half. Uh, Dexter's abs. Dexter's abs out of five. De Dexter's One and a abs. half Dexter's abs. Oh. Okay. Hey, man, the rules are made up and the points don't matter. Kadish, what do you think? <laughs> All right. So uh, for, we forgot to point out that John Delancey, otherwise known as Q, is that in he was this sort movie. of in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He was in it for like one scene. Cameo. Yep. And uh, this movie is a total one star crap fest. Yes. It, it's a terrible movie. I hate it. And uh, if it didn't fit with the theme, I wouldn't have recommended we watch it. Oh, so. it's a family divided. Yeah, yeah. So one star. This movie sucks. Okay, I we're mean, gonna, we're he's, gonna he's gonna over here on his hill thinking it's a great movie, and he only gives it a three. Well, that's it's, not, it's, that's it, not that it, great, it, bro. It, it's funny. The, the Rotten Tomatoes score, it's uh, critics thirty percent, audience thirty nine percent. Yeah, it's garbage. Okay, you guys, we have to take a break so that we can basketball dance battle to decide. <laughs> To decide Listen, how no, good this movie like, is. The ending of the movie, we're like, oh, I'm controlling your brain. And he's like, imagine me sticking this knife in your gut. That's like, that was a good, like a good reversal. I, this freaking movie is good. Here's my flag. It's flying in the wind. On a mountain of dicks. In a mountain of dicks. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You know what? Mountain um, of this tiny movie, dicks. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. I'm going to go do that. Okay. So you guys can talk about this. All right.